We've been based in Dubai for the last five years and the company's goal is to offer complete end-to-end -end product development solutions all the way from conceptual design down to final manufacturing. So we cover a very diverse portfolio of software and hardware which we tailor make into packages specifically to suit what a customer wants to accomplish. We decided to participate at the air show because we felt it was important to get the word out, especially about the 3D printed UAV. And we wanted to educate people on some of the other applications that 3D printing is becoming popular for. 3D printing enables aerospace manufacturers to keep a digital inventory, which reduces their overhead costs. Initially used for prototyping and in the military applications, 3D printing is now being implemented in the civil aviation. As this trend increases, we are looking at the next industrial revolution. Automotive is one of our biggest sectors. The evolution we have seen during those years has been a, a shift from the prototyping department, where our technology was used to create you know, a prototype of the, the product. We see an example here of the gearbox from Lamborghini. And it's moving to the manufacture of end-use components. So as you see here, there is a door handle of the Lamborghini Aventador, which is covered with leather, of course, as well as a tooling which means all the assembly tools for cars and uh, special tools for the carbon fiber. And in racing, we also see a big adoption of our technology in uh, Formula One and in the motorcycle uh, MotoGP. Stratasys is great for architectural models because we can use two different technologies, Polyjet and FTM. Both have their distinct advantages. Both can offer different types of models. So we can cover pretty much the full spectrum of any need in that industry. So whether it be uh, conceptual mock-ups for design approvals, whether it be the final architectural piece for permanent display, so we can be very um, precise with what we offer our customers. I'm a sculptor, been making uh, 3D prints or digital sculptures for over 20 years. Always trying to push the boundaries of the latest printers. And obviously to do that, you really need to collaborate. And for this particular instance, I've collaborated with D2M Solutions. We've been working with uh, Michael Winston for a while now. So we used the, the Conex 3 machine to print out his 3D models. And uh, that helped because uh, we joined multiple materials together and it uh, prints at high resolution so we managed to get a lot of the texture that he added to his model. So we had all the bark features from uh, the 3D design. The medical market is definitely developing. Um, the Middle East places a lot of emphasis on high quality medical care and part of that is obviously reducing the patient recovery time as much as possible and reducing any errors during the surgical process. So one of the most obvious ways that they can have an impact is for surgical planning tools. So we can use CT data from CT scanners to actually make a 3D model and print that model, whether it be a fracture or a tear or, or a tumor, so that doctors can visualize what they're going to face before they ever enter the operating theater. So errors and mistakes are severely reduced. The paradigm shift in manufacturing with uh, 3D printing technologies or additive manufacturing is the freedom of design. Uh, you're not restricted to traditional uh, manufacturing methods. So it allows for a lot, a lot more creativity to be put into the final product and also a lot more complex design. So instead of having assemblies of components, all that can be merged into one 3D printed part. So we offer a wide range of materials, starting from the FDM side of uh, the technology. We offer materials such as ABS, which is a very durable and flexible thermoplastic. ASA, which is a UV resistant uh, thermoplastic. Polycarbonate, which is a very strong uh, thermoplastic. And Ultim, which is uh, an aerospace certified material. It's FST certified, so any components can be installed on the aircrafts. On the Polyjet side, we offer transparent materials, multicolor materials, rubber-like materials, 
So with these materials you can get a better feel of the final product that you're going to be producing. T2M has been based in the Middle East region for the last five years. Um, since then we've made big developments in the way our customers are using our systems. Focusing mainly on end use rather than the prototyping, we've helped people achieve faster time to market, which is important. We've helped people reduce their overall cost of production. Um, and we've seen some very impressive ROI figures. So we have a range of 3D printers available or production systems available, both on the Polyjet technology and on the FDM technology. So this offers us the flexibility to accommodate any sort of inquiry we receive. If the company isn't ready to take the technology in-house, we offer 3D printing services or low volume production at D2M under the brand Paradigm 3D. We have the largest 3D printing factory in the Middle East and we can build parts in a single build of up to 90 by 60 by 90 centimeters. So we can produce very large parts or uh, many series of parts. Our main advantage is the fact that we invest a lot in understanding the technologies we sell, in developing applications ourselves so that we can give best practices. So our investment in learning our technology and continuing that learning process leads us to be able to offer the best possible solutions to our customers using our equipment.